Uh, so, welcome participants and uh, again, I would like to bring forth to you uh, the details of the course which you are going to, about, which you are about to do. Uh, the precondition of this course is that you should be extremely passionate about your teaching. You should have a desire to know more about teaching and your teaching methods, a desire to know, uh, to have an insight into the student-oriented ways of teaching. You, uh, you should have a need or a motivation to learn about classroom learning environment. And also you should have a desire to learn about contemporary methods of teaching. With these characteristics in mind, you can very well go through the course in a very, in a seamless manner and you can enjoy the entire course. The course will be transacted through this learning management system and it will be available to all the participants, only registered participants of the course. The duration of the course is four weeks. After this, after which the course will be unavailable on the learning management system. The course carries one credit and is of 15 hours. Each course requires thorough reading and participation to gain understanding of the modules included in the course. This course is offered in collaboration with St. Xavier's Institute of Education and uh, UNESCO, and uh, you have to uh, complete the entire course in order to get a certificate of completion of this course. What is the plan of transaction of the course? You have four modules, and each module will take around three hours of instruction. That is, you need to watch the videos or the materials that are attached to the module, Try to grasp the understanding of these modules very thoroughly, after which you need to do a quiz, a short quiz. You need to answer a reflective questionnaire and also you need to do a small task, which is a week. at the end of the week, you have to do all these so that we can measure the proper understanding of the entire module and you can then move on to the next module. So we have uh, the four modules and you will be spending at least three hours minimum with each of these modules to gain a thorough understanding. After the four modules, you have along with the quiz and the task for each module and as well as the reflective questionnaires which you are going to solve at the end of the module. The, uh, the last assignment is the end of course assignment, which you are having after all the four modules, which will be the culmination assignment. And uh, there are options given to you and you have to do any one of those options in the end of course assignment. So thus the whole course is of 15 hours and you will earn one credit for these 15 hours. So the modules for the course are the concept of teaching, which we all should know. Then we move on to the teaching and classroom learning environment. Outcome-based education, which is uh, in thing nowadays and reflective teaching. So uh, these are the four interesting modules for you. And I'm sure that you will gain a thorough understanding of these four modules and you will be motivated to read more on teaching and learning that is my wish uh, for all the participants. At the end of the entire course, there will also be an overall feedback form which the participants are required to answer uh, at the end of the course. Now, this uh, course will also be graded and um, you need to have um, a certain percentage of participation in the components of the course. So participation in the content input, you need to, uh, is a 20% uh, marks for that. Completion of the quizzes is 30%. Completion on submission of the assignments during the course is 20%. And end of course assignment is 30%. And thus you need to participate for the entire course. And there are certain ranges for your grading pattern. So your grading pattern is, 
uh, already given in the um, in the document that is attached for course design you can go through your grading pattern now discussion forum is another feature of the course and there will be questions for your discussion forum which will be put up on your uh, on the lms and uh, i urge all the participants to uh, go through the discussion forum uh, weekly and you need to uh, participate in the discussion forum the discussion forum can help us understand what is your current understanding of the different concepts what are the experiences that you are going through and with the course input how have your experiences changed and what are your different views so th this is the objective of the discussion forum and whenever you are writing in the discussion forum try to be a bit cordial and approachable and write a language that is motivating to others so uh, we are not here to put down anybody's views but we are here to encourage everybody's views so the participation in the discussion forum is very important and you need to put your views in the discussion forum in the course design you will also see how your discussion forum uh, participation is also created so according to me i have told you everything related to the course and uh, if you have any questions you can put up uh, on the lms and i would answer those questions so all the best for your course go through the course design document that is attached and um, uh, keep away the three hours in a week which you are going to spend for the course i'm sure you will be having three hours in the entire week to spend for the course you do not have to do um, watch or read anything at a stretch for three hours you can break it into small components during the week and at the end of the week you have to do the quiz the task and the reflective question so thank you very much and all the best for the course